Welcome. So I just wanted to give a very quick demo on this uh, attendance tracker, attendance sheet, however you want to call it. Um, just a very brief overview and after I'll go into slightly more detail. So you can input a resource number if you have one. Uh, you put a resource name and a role, that is a drop down menu. And then you just input the attendance for each staff uh, using a drop down menu as well. So this is 12 months wide, so you can have actually the full year uh, on one page and I'll show you how you can uh, narrow down on, on the month and then uh, obviously you have some totals on the right at the bottom and then you have a stats, annual stats, you have an employee uh, stats where you can select uh, an employee <laughs> and then you have a monthly stats and then you have some settings. So let's start with the settings. So the settings, uh, this is where you put the attendance code. So here you have pre-selected four, present absent, leave, and order, and NR, which is not reported. That means that for whatever reason, uh, it could be <laughs> your manager who doesn't want to be reported on, but you have uh, NI, so this cannot be changed. But all those can be changed. If you don't like P for present, you can change this as well. You can change everything, and you can change the description that will follow as well. Uh, you can uh, decide if your weekends are off or not here. So if the weekends are off, uh, that means that you don't work on weekends, so therefore they will be grayed out. Let me show you. So here it's off, they are being grayed out. And let's go back here. Uh, you have dark colors, so I couldn't really decide between the two colors. So uh, at some places uh, on the uh, spreadsheet, you will see uh, here, for instance, dark colors, no. And here it shows uh, it's not really dark. But if you go back here and you say dark colors, yes. Uh, you'll see a few places uh, they will be darker. But uh, that's because I just uh, lazily couldn't decide between the two, so I'll give you the option. And the year, obviously, so you have to select a year here. And that's the roles. So you can uh, put uh, up to 10 uh, or something along those lines, roles, I believe. Um, and then you can select them, uh, select them in front of each employee. And then you can also input the public holidays. So this is a public holiday. So are, those are not individual holidays. So therefore, you cannot you can just put dates here. You cannot just say for the next two weeks it's a public holiday. It has to be a date. Uh, that's how it works. Now let's go back to the dashboard. So this is where you'll be working. So this is actually your resource list. This is where you will the resources that you will be inputting here will be. Uh, your resource list. You don't have a separate tab uh, to put your resources and I thought it'd be easier if it's all here. Uh, resource number, as mentioned, is optional, so if you don't put it, it's not going to complain. And you can even hide it here. So I just if you press on this, you don't even show it, you remove the distraction. Uh, the role, I believe, is not really required either. I could blank it out. Um, but if you decide to use it, this is using uh, the drop-down menu and then you can uh, retrieve uh, one of the roles that is here. Okay, so that's it. And after, easy. What you do is you select the date, today's date, and then you uh, select uh, for every staff, you select a code. So that's it, this, uh, this code here. Actually, I wanted to give you this tip at the end, but I might as well give it to you now. Okay, we expand uh, the month. Let's say you are on this month and you expand it. Uh, so if you have, uh, what I suggest you, you could do is um, assuming that you're lucky and the present is the most common <laughs> attendance that people have, you just put a P here and you drag it down for all your employees and you can even go crazy and do it for the full week. Uh, now you do this only once and then during the week you just uh, manage this by exception. Uh, as I was saying, assuming that P is really <laughs> the most common uh, attendance code that uh, your employee, hopefully. And then so what is done every morning, you come here and you say, oh, this uh, project manager was not here, so I'm just going to put it A. Oh, this one is as planned leave, I'm just going to put it L and the likes. So that's uh, maybe a better way to do it, but if you don't like it, just, just um, select everything and you just press uh, delete and you remove the codes. Now, what do we have here? So let's go back to the top. So here do you have all the months at the top. Uh, if you want to collapse all the months for some reason, uh, you press on one here. So you have all the months uh, collapsed. 
And if you want to extend all the month, you press on the other one and that extends all the month. So what I suggest you do is you collapse everything and you just open the month that you're working on. So let's say I'm working, uh, I was working on what, on May. And so I have May open and then all the others are collapsed. So what do we see for every month? I am reporting the total here. So that gives you uh, an idea of the progress so far. So here, for instance, it was uh, 84 days where people were present, 20 absent, no leave, and six others. If you go at the bottom here, you see the total for the day. Um, on the 12th of May 2025, there was nine present, two absents, and, and the likes. And if you go at the very right of the screen, then you have the annual totals here. So annual so far. So the total uh, P2640 and the likes. So let's have a quick look on this. So here, if you click, click on this, uh, that gives you some data that is not very interesting, but I still wanted to leave it available to you just in case you're curious on how I build that. And uh, the, here there is a bit of a, a narrow here. So if you don't like this at the top, you can also hide it this way. Um, so this way you don't see the, uh, you can extend everything and, uh, and don't see this. And as I also, also mentioned, the resource number or the employee number, you can hide it if you like. So this is straightforward. Summarize, you go on your month and every day you input the data here. And if you want, you can look at the totals as you type. Now let's have a look at uh, the next tab. So the annual stats. So this is high level view to see how your staff is going you know there's some uh, um, uh, kpis that are based on you know uh, maybe for hr and relax to see if there is a high level of, of uh, absenteeism that that could mean uh, that something is wrong the moral is down and instead of bl blaming the employees you can maybe have a look at uh, how the company is being run and uh, and the like so this is uh, gives you some very interesting trends if you see uh, a lot of uh, absent for no reason then uh, you can start having a look at this if there is oh uh, you can uh, whatever you choose to have here uh, you can also track on this and that gives you a total for the year obviously and that also gives you a chart that gives you an idea with color based uh, see if you see the pink here, the leaf seems to be peaking in, in March and a little bit more in September and the likes. So this is for the annual statistical data. Now if we move, mo move on, uh, sorry, to the, with the employee. So the employee, this is actually where you can select, and I put some little red arrows here. This is where you can select one employee and then see the detail uh, for the year for that employee. And you select Peter, for instance, and you have a look. Everything is here for him. And what you can do also, you can uh, scroll down. If you scroll down, you come here and you see the present, absent, leave. That helps you to, to find trends for this employee. You can select everything that you like here. Let's move on. Uh, monthly stats. Now, instead of selecting an employee, you still have the red arrow here. That means that here you select the month. Here I put May and I have the statistical data for May, obviously. And here I have, I have putting all the, all the employees here uh, and all the codes here. So that, um, that one way to do it is you could uh, have a look here and you realize, oh, there's something wrong in March here. There's plenty of leave, what's going on? And then you go in the monthly one and you select March and you narrow it down and you see, oh yes, but it was all the, all the same stuff who had this uh, leave, so that's okay. So absenteeism and the likes, you have everything here. And that's also a very good visual um, based on the amount of days that you have. So here you have 21 days, so this is calculating the working days. So that, that gives you an, an idea of how much was, what was done and where the, uh, the attendance was uh, trending during uh, that month that uh, contained 21 days. Here you see out of 21 days, 20, 20, 20. So that's pretty good. Okay, so we've 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 done the rounds already. So this is it. Um, and then we're going back and <laughs> closing the loop with the uh, settings here. I provide also some um, uh, instructions uh, if required. 
Um, but that's it. Uh, there is a resource count here. So what, what what do you do when you have a new resource? I think you need to run for the rest of the. And and by and by the way, you know, if you if you only use ten resources, you can click on this and uh, narrow your list down so you can see the stats at the bottom here. But if you have let's say a John five, if you are hiring a John five uh, and uh, uh, let's say the John this one is going, you need to let this one run for the rest of the year, and you put John five here and you start with John five. You don't want to replace John with John five. It seems it seems obvious, but if you do that, the the statical data is. Is not going to be. Uh, it could be corrupted um, because when you put John five here, it's going to also count all the attendance code of John. So this is to be dealt with. That's why I allowed a lot of room for the resources. This is to be dealt um, with uh, on a year basis. Every new staff will come here, and when uh, staff go, you just l uh, let them idle here. You don't need to put to mark them as. Um, <laughs> as absent or anything, I think it'll be quite obvious. And uh, uh, how many resources do I have here between 12 and uh, 51? So I have uh, around 40 resources allowed, but uh, obviously I can put much more if required. Okay, so this is it for um, a wrap up. Um, I hope it uh, makes things um, clear for you.